back again, uh, fresh off of finishing Cyber Shadow, the ninja game, uh, as part of Bitterly Kill Ninja, my little let's play. Um, and I'm on to the next thing. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to play this one. Sparkling Water's back too, but um, I don't know if I'm going to play this game like that, but it's, this is definitely another mic check. It's been a while. And another, it's going to be another kind of retro, old school type of game. Uh, again, I'm kind of limited with the technology. You know, it's like Iron Man's dad. I'm limited by the technology of my time. All right. I got this laptop. This is what, this is what I can play on it. Um, but this game is a uh, top-down shooter. Yeah, well, when I say shooter, a lot of people think Call of Duty and stuff like that. But see, back in the day, all right, youngins, back in the day, the shooter was like uh, Space Invaders or Galaga or Galaxian. If you know what I'm talking about, you're like a ship, you're like a spaceship, and you shoot aliens or whatever machines. They had one like 1942 where it was planes, and you shot other planes and stuff. <clears throat> but to shoot him up, and uh, it's called Monolith. Uh, so let's let's come over to the game. Uh, Relics of the Past. So there's an expansion. I bought this a while ago. There was an expansion that came out. I got that on a sale on Steam because they're so cheap. Thinking I'm gonna play it one day. I'm gonna try it out. It looks interesting from the video and the uh, screenshots on the store page. And today's the day. So, we're going to try this game out. Um, from what I can tell, uh, it's like procedurally generated, so like the levels change every time you play. I don't know. We're going to find out. Uh, it's going to be a short one, too. Uh, I got somewhere I got to be later. Uh, Alright. But yeah, as you can see, you're like a little ship, and uh, unlike like uh, Galaga or Space Invaders, where you're stuck on the bottom, this one you can move all over the place, so <clears throat> yeah. Move. Fire. Okay, so it's a twin stick shooter, as it's called. So each, the left stick is move, the right stick is fire. Any direction I go in, you shoot in that direction. Uh, it's, you know, it's pretty, pretty simple. Controls. Dash. I wonder if... <laughs> it's a cool pause menu. I wonder if they can change it to... No. So it has, like, PlayStation-style controls. L1, or whatever. I'm not using that kind of controller, but I just... See if they had the option for changing the button uh, labels. Alright, so this room has actual... Okay, so there's a map. This room has actual... This room has uh, other exits. That's it. Okay. There's a hacking minigame. When in doubt, just shoot it. <laughs> Select the room and map screen to teleport from anywhere. Okay. Oh, I see. That's cool. Is that labeled on the map? No, it's not. So you have to remember. Normal room, normal room. You are here. <laughs> Bomb, good luck. So it's 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 kind of like it's giving me like a Zelda kind of vibe, uh, like 2D Zelda, it's like top down, because this is like a like a dungeon. Like you can, there's maps and stuff. There's different rooms you go to, but you're just you just happen to be a, a ship. Let's 
13th. Okay. Got him. <clears throat> so far it is cool. Excavation. It's different than what I expected. Holy shit, okay. Oh, what the fuck? I thought I was teleporting my stuff. Oh. Oh. One's an entry, one's an- fuck. One's an entry, one's an exit. What am I supposed to do here? <laughs> oh shit. Hm. Holy shit. idea so far. Let's make a top-down shooter like a Zelda kind of game. Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> That's right, the fucks don't stop here. <laughs> I'm gonna die eventually, I'm sure. I don't even know where my health is. I think it's that 6 out of 10. 5 out of 10. I stand corrected. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Hmm. Can't destroy those yet. Holy shit. Brother. Fucking doing a lot. <laughs> recovers one HP, recovers twenty percent ammo. Okay, I see what kind of game it is. So it's also kind of like a rogue light, where you know each game has runs. It's not so much like a single story. Next time I play, I'll have to start from the beginning. I, I believe. Chain lightning arcs between enemies split split something impact laser fires in threes but fires slower wraps through boundaries bound uh, reduced ammo hmm. I don't exactly mean what wraps means is that warps through boundaries or am I reading it wrong I don't know uh, I need health is what I need let's try that. Vulcan. I see. Okay, there's like a little ricochet scenario going on. Hm. 
Holy mother of god. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Yeah, this one seems pretty useful. Forgotten ringleader. Okay. Oh my god. I don't have any bombs. Shit. I'm not even sure if I'm causing him any damage. I am glad with my choice though, that chain lightning thing. Cause since they're all bunched up. Oh, sweet God. <laughs> I made it. Somehow we made it. <sighs> this music's cool. I'll do 2 HP. What's the map? There's a map button. See the boss room. There's still a bunch of rooms in here. What's up with these spikes? Nothing happened. Out, shoot. I don't know what I just got into. <laughs> Revive on death with extra damage explosively. That sounds cool. This music is very uh, foreboding. Look at that. I made a deal with the devil. It's the devil machine. Okay. I only picked that because I'm probably going to die soon. Let's go this way. I guess not just because I beat that boss doesn't mean I beat the level. It's kind of weird. I guess maybe I have to find like the room that teleports you to the next area. Maybe that's how it works. Which means, could I have found that room and not beat the boss? These are all questions <laughs> that I uh, may not have answers when I'm, uh, on this first time playing. Max ammo. I don't think I even have ammo. This is just my default blaster. Keep looking for like some kind of secret shit, but oh, like false blocks or something. Nope, not this way. This way? Nope, not this way. <laughs> oh, not that way. <laughs> Random candle. Oh, the music stays here. This must be the teleport room. Okay. I was wondering what that dot was on the map, that little mini map I had top right. Archives. Got an achievement archive diving. Oh, shit. Yeah, this looked uh, cool to me because I, I mean, I didn't know it was going to be all this really. I, I just like top down shooters. I've been playing those since I was a kid. Um, 
sometimes with my brothers they had like multiplayer co-op. That was like one of the things we used to do back in the day. Super Nintendo before, uh, you know, like Call of Duty and like Halo and all that shit. It's really possible. Uh, you know, like the shit you would rent from fucking Blockbuster and Holly Videos. Like a Mario game, but even Mario games were not. Uh, what the fuck? Okay. We're not, uh. Co op. Uh, at the time. That was like a rarity back then. It just didn't have that ability. Uh, so the only kind of co op games that were like beat em ups, like uh, Ninja Turtles, uh, Ninja Turtles 4, Turtles in Time, Double Dragon, Final Fight, Streets of Rage, etc. Or, uh,. Shoot 'em ups like this, shooters. Like uh, Raiden, or Raiden, uh, Arrow Fighters, 1942, 1945. Gal, uh, not Galaga, but you know stuff like that. Those could have two players on the screen at the same time doing shit, and that was important. What the fuck? Oh shit! I just got a bunch of money. <laughs> Can tuna? Okay. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, those are the games that you wanted to play with. Uh, especially if you had a sibling, because... Otherwise you'd have to take turns, or you'd get like pissy, or I'd be like, I want to play it now, etc. Okay. Extra health and debris when replacing weapons. Discount? Nah, I don't give a shit about the discount, really. Extra max bomb, sounds useful. So yeah, I've been playing them for a while, so I was kind of interested in seeing how this worked. Most of the ones being made uh, now are kind of like... For the real diehards, the gohards. Uh, like bullet hell, they call it, where it's just a bunch of bullets on the screen, and you just kind of have to thread the needle over and over and over and over to like try to survive, and that's kind of the, the fun for them. That nah, was never really my... my I think the boss is up there, I'm not going up there yet. Uh, my favorite part of those games is just kind of shooting stuff. <laughs> Although most people just shoot first person now. This, this genre's kind of gone. Nobody gives a shit about this. Uh, unfortunately, you know, just by and large. Not many people are down to play shoot 'em ups like they were, like. It's definitely a bygone era. You know, back in the day, people used to used to want to play shit like this and uh, platformers, you know, like Mario and Donkey Kong Country and stuff like that. Those are the popular genres, you know. Uh, fighting games, Mortal Kombat, Street Fighter. Like everybody was down, like nobody was like, oh, I got to kill streak on the uh, on the whatever. Oh, how's that map on Fortnite, etc. Like that that wasn't that new shit back then. It was like, hey, you, can you do this special move with fucking Blanca, where she like rolls into a ball, or you know how to do you know the fatality with Scorpion and shit. That's what everybody talked about. That was the hot shit. Um, that's very old man of me, but I don't know. I, I, that, that shit's still fun. Just nobody plays it anymore, so nobody really makes it anymore except for like small little games like this or like Cyber Shadow. Where you're like a ninja going around killing stuff. Like those games aren't really made by companies like that no more. Because they don't they don't sell the same way. Laser, laser, laser. I see. They they do look the same. They have, they, oh. <laughs> okay. I was gonna say they have the same shape. I didn't even notice the shape could tell you what weapon it is, but now I don't have anything. <laughs> we learned something today. That that shit disappears. <laughs> if you leave the screen. Take it or leave it. What the fuck is that?
<clears throat> cool. Free money. I don't think I found a shop though, have I? has been broken. HP, always. That noise, when I pick up the HP, that kind of sounds like a Zelda noise, too. I don't like that one already. It has armor. see these yeah these two rooms and then fight the boss I guess what the fuck Oh, that's it. I had no clue those were the same two ones I was doing. Okay, like a piece of heart. So, collect this item to increase your health. Ah, open more rooms. I want to make it, fam. <laughs> Fuck. I think so fucking quick. <laughs> I didn't notice that. Okay, but then... What? I don't understand. Hmm. Oh, I can destroy it. Hey, I did that like the completely hard way. Hey, there's the guy. Two bombs. Five percent damage increase. Max ammo. All right, I'm gonna do. How much is it? Four fifty. Increase max ammo by twenty percent. That would be good. I just didn't get a weapon last time, but maybe next time. I still got money. Got so breaded up. I need to figure out how to break these. It must be a weapon or something, or an item. I would I would like some fucking health though, because if I die, it doesn't matter. Yo. Oh my god. Oh, it's this fucking thing. There's your problem. As far as these little like, decorations around the level like this thing, sometimes I have problems wondering if that's like an item, or like an enemy. All the 
thinking about it now, it uh, seems like all the items are in bubbles. Oh, you can, I forget, you can just teleport from anywhere. Oh, that's so much more convenient. Here we go. Damon. Damon? It's Friday after next reference for y'all, wondering. Shit. Fuck you. I don't know if I'm gonna make this one. Holy shit. Oh, sweet Jesus. <laughs> the bomb does displace, like, all the bullets, so that's good. Because sometimes you need that shit when you're, like, you're literally stuck. Underflow, I've got an achievement underflow, maintenance system, next level. Got the laser. Again, I don't think any of this is safe because of the nature of the game. But uh that was Monolith. Relics. Well, I think I forget what the original game's called. This is with the expansion. Monolith. Relics of the past. Um interesting game. I don't regret buying it, but uh, I don't know if it's something I want to really delve into right now, but it is uh, it is cool. I think it's the kind of game that you play like I just did, where you just play for 20, 30 minutes, and then it's like, okay, I think, I think I'm good for now. I got to do something, <laughs> which is literally what's happening right now. Uh, but uh, good stuff. Um, as always... If uh, you enjoyed that, do the social media stuff. Um, I might, I might play this again sometime. I really wanted to do like a game uh, like that with runs and see how far, how I, how I get better at it over time with Hades, like the game Hades. If you haven't checked, I have a mic check about that game. Uh, but then I, I'm stuck with this. This laptop can't play Hades. <laughs> uh, so maybe this will be a game I could do that with instead, but again, I don't know if I want to really get into something like that. Um, but anyway, that's it for this one. Just a little quirky little something. Uh, I got something on the webcam, might be. Uh, a little something to put out. Uh, I'm probably to do some more mic checks while I think about what the next game I want to kind of focus on is. So, well, that's it. Social media stuff if you liked, <clears throat> if you liked the video. Um, but as always, blessings.